Hello and welcome back to the Academy of the Magical Art. I am Prader Ophiel and today we're going to continue our discussion on numerology uh, by furthering um, our understanding of the numbers using the master numbers 11 through 99. A couple months ago I published a video detailing uh, the numbers 1 through 9, their vibrations, and then we worked on a later video on the karmic numbers 13, 14, 16, and 19. So today I find it appropriate um, that we work into the master numbers, again, like I said, to gain somewhat of an understanding about how those numbers can affect us, being that they are so very significant. So in numerology, we have our classical numbers 1 through 9. We then see the number 10, which is a number symbolizing evolution. Um, some traditions, such as Kabbalah, look at uh, 10 different journeys, 10 different spheres of the tree of life. Sifarot, 10 is the essence of number 1, with a little bit of the struggles that come with the number one, including ego, being diminished, showing a mastery therein. After 10, we see the number 11, which is the first of our nine master numbers. Now, when you look at a master number, we want to look at the two numbers that comprise it, in this case, one plus one, to get the essence of what that number is. So when we see the number 11, we're actually looking at a two still. If we look at 22, the essence is four, 33, the essence of six. There are some schools, traditional schools of metaphysical thought or mystery schools that teach that ascended masters, quote unquote, will sometimes incarnate upon the planet. And one of the way to identify a piece of the soul is by finding uh, master numbers and their name one or multiple times. That thought is arguable and debatable because I've met some people that do have master numbers in their name and they are still young on their path. You'd think that if it was uh, an ascended master that they would have a little bit more knowledge or understanding therein. But the other side of that coin is that that knowledge over lifetimes has gone a little bit latent and they just need to wake it up and remember it. One of the ways of doing this is by going through trials and tribulations. One of the patterns that I've noticed throughout my own personal walk is that a lot of people who carry master numbers, divisibles of 11, uh, also carry with them in their life a lot of hardships. They have a lot of, uh, again, lessons to learn, trials, tribulations, fires to walk through. This is how that mastery is brought out, and this is how that uh, that further purification is completed. You know, the, the appearance of a master number in a person's chart does not necessarily indicate that the individual is an ascended master. Rather, it indicates an opportunity to master a particular potential or talent, um, a way to contribute to the earth and humanity as a whole. You know, that this is uh, something that can be uh, specifically refined, a specialty um, that can later be contributed. In a lot of cases, presence of master numbers um, will suggest an older soul coming into this lifetime, uh, and that person is supposed to make an important contribution. Like I said, they're supposed to assist humanity in one way or another, um, especially in a field that is not only inspirational, um, spiritual, life-changing to people, um, but something that they will have a natural affinity for. You know, you'll, you'll see these people in spiritual communities, scientific communities, medical or religious communities, um, education, government, all over the place you can find these people. Oftentimes, uh, older souls have spent a previous lifetime training in esoteric arts um, that give their soul a, a knowledge that sometimes will, like I said, go latent and be forgotten. But this is something that can be woken back up and brought back out. There are some people that when they are studying or trying to learn something, especially in the areas of esoteric thought or study, they feel as if they are remembering knowledge rather than trying to learn it. It comes a lot easier for them than it does for other people uh, because it's like they've already taken this class before and most of the time that is actually the case. So we see this soul that is returned to manifest and teach particular higher level methods of healing or development that they are here to help people attune themselves to the cosmic forces. These souls are very oftentimes dynamic um, and can have very, very large impacts one way or the other. A lot of times these old, quote-unquote, and masterful souls have names and birth dates in particular that will not have master numbers. Um, rather, you'll see them somewhere else. So we personally have to be careful not to keep this particular perspective. In order to be an old soul, you have to have a master number. Or if you have a master number, that means that you're an old soul. Although many times they are correlated, that is not always the case. 
there are a lot of different indicators that we have to look at. Oftentimes we will see uh, that a, the, a masterful soul um, will will choose its name before it incarnates. I, actually, a friend of mine just had a child, and she uh, she didn't know the name of the child up until the day that she went into labor. And the day that she went into labor, uh, she she heard it, she knew it, she felt it in her gut. Um, she asked me to run his numerology, and you see uh, divisibles of eleven in multiple locations in that child's name. He made it very clear to her that this is my name, um, and this is the the path that I am supposed to carry. When she went to name her child, uh, granted, the father gave her a hard time and made it a lot harder than it had to be, um, just because he thought that the source was something other than what it actually was, uh, put her into a position where she had to fight for that child and fight for that what that child wanted. Um, the day he was born, she started doing this. So my wife and I, we already know that this, is, this child is very, very special and unique. He is a quote-unquote masterful soul and him and his mother especially are going to have a very special journey that they're going to walk down together uh, where she is going to be ensuring um, that he is given the opportunity to walk down the path that his soul wants to walk down. That was made clear the day he was born and I'm sure I am positive that it is uh, a lesson, a recurring theme that we're going to see throughout his life. Like I said, uh, the, these numbers can oftentimes result in a sense of burden. You know, people will feel that they have a higher sense or a higher understanding or a higher knowing or a higher purpose, so to speak, and they never are really able to figure out what that is. Oftentimes it's because they're not in touch with themselves. They just have a knowing, um, a claircognance, if you will, that they are supposed to be doing something, but they have a real hard time finding out what that is. This is one of the many reasons why knowing our personal information, knowing our numerology and our astrology, uh, knowing ourselves becomes so vital to our life path because it's very hard to walk down our path when we don't know who we are, uh, let alone what we are supposed to be doing. You know, so a lot of people will oftentimes suffer from um, anxiety um, or angst or uh, guilt or they, f they get down on themselves and feel depressed because they know that they're supposed to be doing something but they don't know what it is and it it'll create a little bit of a, a spin, a tailspin in their lives. As soon as they pull themselves out of it, it's like they get sp springed or launched forward um, through their spiritual development. And it's really, it's a hard thing to watch sometimes, but it's really, really beautiful once that switchover happens. Oftentimes, uh, people with master numbers will feel like they are older than everybody else, oftentimes because they are. Sometimes they'll feel like they have difficulty fitting in um, or associating or, or being understood by those that they are surrounded by. Uh, they feel like a square peg in a round hole, if you will, um, just not really fitting in with society. You know, they'll, they'll, you'll have theories or ideas um, that are just really, really far out there, um, not in tune or not in line with quote unquote normal ways of thinking. Oftentimes that will create a little bit of whiplash uh, from those around you because you get excited about these ideas and thoughts and feel like sharing them um, and then get scrutinized or judged for it. You know, it's uh, w w so again, when we see these master numbers and names, um, especially in the expression number or in the fate number, any of the five core numbers can indicate a mastery, but it shows a potential for a high vibration that doesn't necessarily fully wake up or come out until that soul has awakened, that awakening has been gone through, um, and the individual person in possession of that number or numbers uh, takes a conscious step um, to developing the attributes of that master number. Uh, in a lot of cases, certain gifts will develop and manifest through grace, and in other cases, <laughs> they will manifest through hardship and struggle. Um, after you metaphorically get your ankles tied to a bumper of a car and drug for a couple feet on the sidewalk of life, um, people that have master numbers and their, their name or their birth date and their expression or fate number, uh, they generally have a, a tendency toward... Uh, being able to lead, being able to guide, being able to direct, instruct, teach, and heal. Um, again, this is another trademark that really kind of sets you apart from the, the popular mass ways of thinking. Um, and these vibrations are very often intensified, especially with vibration and potency. Those who possess these master numbers feel like they have a, a higher obligation or a greater requirement or a greater need for discipline and purification of consciousness. Remember, there's always a, a polarity when considering master numbers. Um, 
the uh, the higher we go into consciousness, the the deeper we have a tendency to go into the dark side of the soul, um, and have to face certain issues. Uh, the the higher we ascend, we we have to, or we are forced to shed light on that polarized aspect of ourself. Um, what we are we are forced to take the skeletons out of our closets and deal with the issues that have maybe been hidden from our ego and that aspect of ourself. However, they are still there. There uh, that this is often a case uh we'll see when this begins to happen people will have a tendency to feel a lot of mental instability and they'll feel cut off from others and isolated very very alone there are a lot of cases uh with criminals or, or um, things of that nature that have mastered numbers that are very very good at what they do but what they are doing is not necessarily in line with the law or with the people around them charles manson uh, in particular, um, has a 77 in his name. Uh, Al Capone has a 99 in his name. These would be, both be found within the integrated self number. The intensity of increasing input of universal archetypes and potencies can create nervous disorders, hallucinogenic uh, situations, um, paranoid distrust. Oftentimes people might even feel schizophrenic because they're so connected and they're hearing things and um, experiencing things and feeling things. You know, when, when you, especially when you see at some point in life, especially in the younger portions of our life, when there's a uh, victimhood or um, some kind of trauma that occurs in a life that later leads to guilt, shame, um, you know, a, a self-loathing. Um, a lot of people that carry these numbers walk through a period of their life where they uh, despise themselves for some reason. Um, and oftentimes that is because of a clashing between the ego and the higher self, um, the true self, the true soul, and what we are walking with and through with our uh, present paradigm. They, they, they don't line up with each other and it just uh, creates a horrible situation within the self. These later will then uh, manifest into extreme behaviors of self-abuse or abuse of those around us catharsis um there's a, a disregard for life that can develop um you know and people will just let themselves get out of control because they really feel out of control anyways so this video is getting kind of in there on time with about 15 minutes of just explaining what master numbers are um, i'm going to make part two and cut this here um, and we will discuss the actual numbers uh, 11 through 99 in some detail to give you a little bit of idea of what vibration those numbers hold. So stay tuned, um, and that will be out within a couple of days of part one. Again, I want to thank you for joining with me today at the Academy of the Magical Art, and until next time, blessed be.